what's going on everyone? DJ Marcio and welcome to another video here on TractorProTutorials.com. In this video, we're going to do a quick review on the brand new Control X1 MK2 from Native Instruments. August 1st, this thing just came out in the market and I'm about to give you a quick idea on what you can expect when you get this thing right out of the box. Let's do this. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to plug in the X1 into Tractor. And this is what you get, the option of choosing deck A and B or C and D. You also have the option of C and A, B and D, and then go back to A and B. You hit enter and you're good to go. The first thing that you will notice as you plug this into Tractor is the loop bar count. Now you have two displays which will give you the loop size. And as I go over to the right, it will give me up to 32 bars. And then as I go all the way to the left, it will give you one of 32. And, and this is a big difference and a big plus for myself uh, because I like to, um, to use a lot of loops when I'm doing my mixes. So this is a big plus. Up here, we still have the same thing, the same format from the previous X1. You have your on and off buttons for, for the effects when you're using in single mode. And then you have all three effects down here um, as you have it on the previous X1. Next, we have the FX on and off buttons for both decks, A and B. Um, you can clearly see that the buttons got a little smaller than the previous one because the previous one, the buttons were the same size as the FX on and off buttons. Uh, and now they got a little smaller. But here you will be able to turn on and off uh, the effects for deck A and B as we did before with the previous X1. Now, a big difference that I, I really like the way this thing interacts with Tractor now is the browse and load button. Once you touch this thing, Tractor goes automatically into browse mode. And if I let it go, it goes back to normal. So this is a big plus. I used to have a browse button mapped into my machine to browse my playlist. And now as soon as you touch it, it goes automatically into browse mode. That means your decks get smaller and your playlist gets bigger. And this is, this is just uh, everything that we were missing in terms of playlist viewing in Tractor. So once you pick and choose the track that you want, all you have to do is just click on one of these two buttons and you will load that track into the deck right away. You have the shift button right in the middle. I have not gone through the details of the functionality of the shift button, but as far as I plug and play with track for just a few minutes, it, it reacts just as the previous X1. Now you have the X-Ped and, and it gives you the ability of uh, many different things and I'm gonna cover this in a future video but uh, right now um, you will see that if I hit shift in the X pad I can scroll throughout a whole track uh, at once and and this is uh, this is big this is really nice this is something that we were missing uh, in tractor and now we have next we have the hot cue buttons um, one thing that I'm gonna miss from the previous X1 is the 8 hot cue buttons because uh, I do like to have eight hot cues and I play around with uh, eight hot cues. For me it will not be a big of a deal because I do have my hot cues mapped into the machine pads but people that don't have machine and, and do like to have eight hot cues I think it will be a, a you know a, a small setback I should say. Down here you have the flux mode. The flux mode. We've been waiting for this for a long time and now we got it. Flux, sync, and, and down here, the last two buttons is the Q and play button. And as you will notice, the Q and the play button got a little bigger than the original size on the previous X1. So now let me show you what the shift button does. And, and again, I have not gone through all the details on the new X1, so I'm just giving you guys an idea of what you can expect from uh, this controller. So if I hit shift, I will have the tap, 
I have the master, I can make that one or two my master tempo. And if I hit the shift button plus Q, what happens, the track goes all the way to the beginning. Let me show you on deck B now. It goes all the way to the beginning. Now, if I hit shift and play, what I'm turning on and off is the key lock in Tractor. And uh, this is pretty good. I really like this. And if I hit the shift button, I can also scroll through the track using the loop size knobs. Now I'm going to hit play. And look what happens when I touch the uh, X pad. It becomes my, my pitch band. And to me, this is a very good feature for those of you who are not using a CDJ and don't want to use the sync button, just in case, you never know. Now let me show you what happens when I hit play and I touch the X pad. It becomes my pitch band. Now I want you to notice that if I touch the X pad on this side, it becomes my pitch band. But if I touch the X pad, on the other side of these two lines, I'm actually taking control of the track on deck A, deck B. So be very careful there. I think this will be a matter of getting used to this thing so you don't make any mistakes, um, but it's nothing major. I think that uh, the X-Pad is a, it's a beautiful idea and I think it will help you take your creativities to the next level. When the flux mode first came out in Tractor, I mapped into my machine, but I was actually craving for an actual button dedicated specially for flux mode, and I knew this thing was gonna come out on the next X1. Native Instruments did an awesome job with the new X1. As a Tractor user, I think that this is what everybody was waiting for, and it's finally here. <laughs> This is it guys, just giving you a quick review on the new X1. If you are thinking about buying it, definitely go for it. If you are an X1 user and you're thinking about the upgrade, definitely go for it. Um, I'm pretty sure that you're not gonna regret. This has everything that we were missing on the previous X1, so I would say definitely go for it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please visit TractorProTutorials.com. See ya.